All right, this is uh, kind of a correction or maybe just um, improvement upon the last video I made on geologic time scale. I didn't think it was very good. Um, so let's start off by explaining that uh, we are talking about the entire history of the Earth. And so when we look at the time frame, this MY stands for millions of years ago. And when we scroll, and we look all the way down here, we see this 4,600 million years ago. That translates actually to 4.6 billion years. And other resources will tell you that it's 4.5 billion years. Um, I think the more precise number is 4.56. So we round that off or some people round that off, and you get a 4.6 billion years. Really not that important. Just know that it's a long, long time ago. And so um, we take a look again, and we have the largest section of time being the eons. And then within the eons, we have eras, and then periods, and then epochs or epochs. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. I think it's epochs. Um, in my class, we are really basically talking about eras, the different eras. But it should be pointed out that the eons are the largest um, section of time, and there are four eons. And the first one is the Phanerozoic, but then it gets a little confusing because when we come down to the bottom of the geologic time scale, we only see this word Precambrian. And what the Precambrian is, is just a single term that is used to identify the other three eons, the Proterozoic, the Archean, and the Hadean. And so the question becomes, why do we just lump them all together and give them one single name? Aren't they you know, worthy of, of investigation all by themselves? Why do we just lump them together? Well, the reason for that is that very little is known about these three uh, parts of time, all right? the Protozoic, Archean, the Hadean. They, um, they don't have a lot of fossil record as they do in other parts of the geologic time scale. So these three eons are lumped together into one word, the Precambrian. And looking in the book, our book will tell you that the Precambrian takes up 90% of the geologic time scale. And of course, you know, this, it's not 90% of, of this picture, um, but it, it does take up 90% of the time. Um, other books will tell you that it's 7 eighths of the geologic time scale, which translates to, I think, what, 80 eight percent okay approximately so kind of splitting here is not real important uh, but it takes a huge section of time if we were to um, draw a picture that would illustrate that this would be whoops this would be maybe the precambrian all right the precambrian i guess we can call it that and this would be maybe the the phanerozoic and then divided into three more sections, three more eras. So, I mean, um, you'll see other pictures on the internet or resources that kind of look like this. The, re the picture in our book looks like this, but that's the reason, because this is supposed to be about 90% of the time, and this little section where all the life and all the action happens is only 10% of the time. And it's called the Precambrian because we really don't know very much about it. And so we um, lump these three eons together. And what we're really going to be concentrating on is um, the Paleozoic, the Mesozoic, and the Cenozoic. All right, so that's a, a quick overview of geologic time scale and why uh, the Precambrian is called uh, the Precambrian. <laughs> because we really don't know a lot about it, and it actually encompasses three different eons, and it takes up, you know, 90% of the geologic time scale. Um, 
We also know that uh, the Earth is 4.6 billion years old, approximately. Um, so those are kind of the key points I wanted to make on this video, and I will see you on the next one.